We do want to get you team coverage now as violence is spiking in the city of Cleveland. We're finding out how city officials are planning to boost ranks in the Cleveland Police Department. And in just a moment, we'll take a deep dive into the numbers and talk about that recent violence in the city. First, Emma Henderson lays out the city's plans to entice new recruits. We are in a war for talent right now across the country when it comes to law enforcement. And I've given my word as mayor that I'm not going to spare any expense to invest in public safety. And in that war for talent, the city of Cleveland is making some major changes to try and recruit officers, starting with a pay increase from $16 an hour to $24 an hour. The mayor making this announcement with police union leaders by his side, like Jeff Fulmer with the Cleveland Police Patrolmen's Association. It gets disappointing every time we get a recruitment class in there and there's only 8, 10, 12, 15 people in there. Uh, it's my position, our position, that this is a great step to trying to get officers into the city of Cleveland. Uh, for my officers out there, we are still working on the retention. We still have work to do. That's why, in addition to a 50% increase in salary, recruits will also get a $5,000 sign-on bonus. It's $1,000 at signing, 1000 at graduation, and the remaining 3000 at the end of a probationary period. Recruits will also be reimbursed for out-of-pocket expenses if they go to the Tri-C Police Academy. We still have a lot more work to do around uh, retention and deployment. Uh, those conversations will be ongoing over the next couple of weeks ahead. And those with a college degree or active military service will enter the police force at a higher level, making about $3,700 more annually. To give you a sense of how short staffed the department is right now, there are supposed to be around 1,498 officers. But as of this week, they have 1,228. Christy? Hopefully this will help. All right. Emma Henderson, we appreciate it. Thank you.